Milka ji wanted an Indian to win a gold medal at the Olympics and this year this dream of his got fulfilled when Neeraj Chopra won a gold medal in the Tokyo Games in javelin. Uh you got emotional at the very moment. Uh what was going on in your mind during that moment? Uh it was mixed emotions for me. I would have I was very happy for Neeraj Chopra and I wanted my father to be there to congratulate him, hug him, right? Talk to him. But he wasn't there. But I was so proud and happy for Neeraj that he fulfilled my father's dream by winning a gold medal in track and field. My father always said till the time he is alive he would like to see an Indian win it. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. He must be smiling and be very happy for Neeraj. I am grateful to Neeraj. He always said there are no shortcuts in sport. You have to be honest otherwise this game will not respect you. Right. And that's what I learned from him. True champion I must say. Normally an athlete whenever he wins he always dedicates his medal to his parents mm -hmm. or his loved one right he specially thought about my father and dedicated it to him because he had heard him talk about it many a times before and i'm grateful to him for what he did and the milka family will always be there for him and never forget what he did for us and for my father especially biggest legacy my father left behind he was a very simple and a humble man he touched souls wo dil se baat karte the right he was a man who spoke from his heart touched souls of everybody could be anybody in this world and that's what i feel an athlete should be like he should touch people's souls so that he's remembered for being not only a good athlete but also a good human being and that's what my father was play on the champions tour because what i've gone through with the tragedy that's happened in the family i nearly i nearly gave up golf i didn't touch a club for 4 months and i didn't feel like playing because i was introduced to the game by my parents mm -hmm. i just said i don't want to play this game and then i thought about it i went away for 2 and a half months uh, my son loves the game and i said if i give up golf now what example mm -hmm. am i setting for my son right it's not a good example right a father being a loser who's achieved so much i went through a lot i thought a lot that's when i decided yes i am going to play the senior tour i'm going to start working hard out again i'm going to work at my game i'm going to go to the gym i don't want to be a loser mm -hmm. and give up the sport i want to be a winner i've always been a winner and i want to leave the sport like a winner right so i've decided i'm going to start working and this is the first week i've played after a year and i'm going to play two more tournaments um, in the next few weeks after that i take a break i'll work on my game i'll go to the gym then starting next year here comes the senior tour and here comes jeev milkha singh so hopefully i'll be ready and i'll be winning tournaments again and i'll relive the moment it's been a very difficult time uh, to be honest um the house feels empty right uh 
I miss them both. I losing them in five days is very difficult to deal with. A tragedy which I think nobody should go through because and especially when you live with your parents. They used to live on the ground floor, we used to live on the top floor. And you know, it doesn't feel the same. And I cannot come to terms that my parents are still not here there. I feel that they've gone for a holiday. And I get these flashes from the hospital which I get and I cannot sleep at night. I go to bed at maybe 10, 10, 30 or 11 o'clock at night and I cannot sleep till 3 o'clock because I keep thinking, what could have I done to save my parents? I can't get an answer, but then I put my mind to rest by focusing on my breathing. And I, then I say, you know, it was God's will. And that's when I try to go to sleep. And I go to sleep then because I get so tired mentally. There's no answer to it. I think every individual deals with a tragedy like this in his own manner and in, in his own way. Hmm. You know, it's, it's a journey. Talking about Harjay, he was very close to his grandparents. We used to spend a lot of time with them. And it was very difficult for him also. Sure. In fact, uh, he does not like coming down and going into their room now. Because he goes sometimes and sometimes he doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, he misses them a lot. But talking about his golf game, he's a very good player. He has the desire to become a golf a golfer. But as a father and as a sportsman. <clears throat> if I talk to you honestly, a child has to work hard. He has to have that desire, that determination to work hard to become a world-class player and a champion. I can only guide him. Mm -hmm. I can tell him what is right and what is wrong. After that, it is his hard work and his desire and his honest practice and his belief system that is going to take him to the next level and make him a champion. I tried okay. track and field. I, I tried uh, at the age of 12. I, uh -huh. I used to, I was a good runner, 200 and 100 meter sprints. Uh, but I just went to the golf course with my father at the age of nine and I fell in love with it. There were other young players playing and I just thought that it's an amazing game and I, I just fell in love with it and I had good company, good competition with these youngsters and I, we pushed each other to become better players and all of them who, who I grew up playing golf with are professional golfers till date. And it was amazing and that's what um, made me choose golf. Because dad started golf and I went with him. <laughs> and here I am, still enjoying it, still loving it, still feel the pressure on the first hole, still get the butterflies in the stomach on the right. first tee. And I, I feel that if, if you still have that, it's a, it's a positive. Because if you don't have True. that pressure or you don't uh, uh, feel the butterflies in your stomach, I think you're complacent then. Mm -hmm. You don't have the desire to improve and I think it's, 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 it's boring for you as right. a profession. So, I'm still excited. Other than golf, uh, you know, being a professional athlete, I don't follow sport, to be honest. Okay. If you ask me to go for a show or watch a Bollywood movie, uh -huh. I would be more excited. Oh, wow. That. <laughs> oh wow. We didn't know about that. Yeah. I always idolize Fred Couples. He's a professional golfer on the 
PGA Tour. I watched him play for years. Mm -hmm. An amazing player. I love his conduct, the way he's played golf over the years. I would love to. I played with him, in fact. I've played a lot of golf with him when I was playing on the tour and in Dubai. Um, enjoyed his company. So I told him on the first tee, you know, I've always idolized you and it's an honor to play with you. Uh, as a golfer, it would be Fred Couples. And if you talk about a lady who I would idolize, I would say, um, uh, I, um, the tennis player, okay, uh, Martin. Williams. Uh, the, uh, Serena. Uh, Serena Williams. She's won so many Grand Slams and major championships in tennis. I think it's fantastic. She's a fighter. It's mm -hmm. great to see the way she comes out under pressure. Mm -hmm. I would love to watch her play. Mm -hmm. I love guzzles. I'm sure. Old traditional Hindi music. Jagjit Singh. Jagjit Singh. Pankaj Judas. Mehdi Hassan. Mehndi Hassan, Pankaj Udas, fantastic. I love listening to Ghazals. Indian, I love um, Rajma Chawal. Oh. And my favorite, Rajma Chawal is great. Makki Ki Rokti and Sarsoda Saag. Sarsoda Saag, I love that. And especially in this house, we used to all sit together outside in the garden um, we used to have makki ki roti and saag for regularly for four months in the uh -huh. winter in Chandigarh. Wow. We've got a good cook and mom made sure that it was all laid out for us. I think we're going to miss her now. <laughs>